Uh, we turn to that fire right now. Firefighters continue battling the deadly Ferguson fire near Yosemite National Park. It's burned over 13,000 acres at this hour, and it's just 5% contained. Nearly 1,900 firefighters are out there working to save more than 100 structures currently under threat. We have team coverage this morning. Anthony Bailey's in the Pinpoint Weather Center tracking the heat and air quality. But we start with CBS 47's Fabiola Ramirez live from Awani with the latest on the fire. Fabiola? Yes, good morning. Right now we're just waiting to hear those updated numbers on the fire and see if they were able to keep containment on this fire. And I have spokesperson Michael Whitaker with Cal Fire. Go ahead and tell us a little bit of what you guys are dealing with. A lot of work out there last night. We heard there was a lot of work done to protect those structures. Yeah, so currently we have uh, numerous crews and resources that, that came in throughout the day yesterday and last night. We're up to a total of uh, 1,850 personnel now assigned to this fire. The acreage did increase last night, uh, so our updated acreage is 13,082 acres with a containment of 5% 5, 5 currently. Yeah, and also as far as it comes to the fire, what was it doing last night and where was it shifting towards? So uh, we were successful yet yesterday in keeping the fire south of the 140, although the 140 still is closed. The majority of the fire is still burning off to the east and the south right now. So our top priorities are still keeping it out of the El Portal area and also in the Jerseydale area. Now this morning, do we have any new evacuations throughout the area or is it still the same? No, the eva evacuation orders are still currently the same. The mandatory evacuations along with the advisements, not evacuation orders, just the advisement areas. And also we heard that there was a lot of aircraft used yesterday and air tankers to help mitigate the fire. Um, go and tell me a little bit about that. So with the air aircraft that's in use, uh, with the smoke inversion layer keeping down yesterday morning, it was a, a little difficult to get our aircraft up in the air. We still are utilizing them the best that, that we can, but uh, it was not until the late afternoon that we were able to utilize them. Um, all right, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Now, tonight there's going to be another community meeting for anybody who wants to attend that. That's going to be on El Portal Community Hall at 4 p.m. Live in Awani, Fabiola Ramirez, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.